This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. It had been 627 days since Kentucky's last regular season loss before UCLA knocked it off last week in California. So losing is not something this particular group of Wildcats is used to. Another season of lofty expectations after last year's 38-1 finish. But head coach John Calipari says there is still a long way to go before this team reaches its potential. Uh, when everybody's doing their thing, everybody's trying, everybody's playing and battling and you're fighting and then they come together and they really accept what each other has to do and they can be empowered. We're not close to that right now. And that's where we, if this team is supposed to be by the end of the year what we all believe it could be, they got to be empowered. Last year's Kentucky Mr. Basketball and former North Central Patriot Cameron Justice is having to adjust from 14th Region Basketball to life in the SEC. Our own Jamie McCracken spent some time with Justice and has more from Nashville. Well, it's been quite an adjustment for the reigning Mr. Basketball himself, Cameron Justice, now at Vanderbilt University. Of course, he played almost every single minute at Knott Central. Here at Vandy, though, he has to fight for his minutes, but he says it's still fun. The tempo of the game is definitely about 10 times, 15 times higher, way more physical. Uh, and, you know, you're playing with a group of guys that everybody on the floor was a big-time player in high school. So, I mean... What you're trying to do is bring the best of your ability and the best of everyone else's ability and make a, make a, make a great team. To see more from my exclusive interview with Cam himself, tune in to Sports Overtime Saturday night this weekend. Reporting in Nashville, Jamie McCracken, WYMT Mountain Sports. As Jamie mentioned, you can hear more from his interview with Justice this weekend on Sports Overtime. So far this season, Justice has appeared in six games with the Commodores. He is averaging just less than six points and two rebounds per game. He is shooting right at 50% from the floor and just better than 43% from behind the three-point line. He has also made all four of his free throw attempts this season. For the final time this season, we name our high school football players of the week from the state finals. A pair of running backs from Pike County take home this week's honor. Andrew Fletcher of Belfry, Derek Pugh of Pikeville, each were named most valuable player in his respective team state championship game. Fletcher ran for 125 yards on 19 carries, had two touchdowns for the Pirates, while Pugh finished with 239 yards on 24 carries, also had two touchdowns for the Panthers.